thing out. comes out. Turn that off. <laughs> there is a screw here. It's a T20, I guess. And then that one out and then there's another t20 deep in here uh -huh. that when you drop it, it take the whole thing <laughs> out to get it So were you thinking about starting the suspension this weekend? Um, no, because I'm going to be a VIR. So oh, well, that's next. They said it's next week. Well, they're going to something different at VIR. Oh, uh, okay. I see. Um, the only thing I would recommend replacing on the suspension, you won't be able to tell until you get the shocks out, are uh -huh. the, top, the top mounts for the shocks. Yep. They're kind of like a ball bearing thing. Okay. And just if they're smooth when you get them out, uh -huh. they should be fine. But if you feel them like crunchy or that you can't turn them, then I would place them. Yeah. So you just pop that up, pop this up. Oh, yeah. And then there's three connectors along the back here, which is what I wanted to check. They're all in. The way these work is you push down on this and you slide that back. Ah, nice. Um, so you do all three of those. Get those out of the way. Now that you have the hazard thing, is the biggest uh, kind of pain to do. <laughs> grab, a, you grab a pair of pliers. We're going to pull it completely out. this I remember if I need to do it again. Yeah. <laughs> so you have to grab this thing. Actually disregard that. Pry it from <laughs> here. Slightly. It's not the easiest thing. Come the other side. So if you can get a hold of it, you just pull this out. You have to pull these little tabs in while pulling it out. And then push this tab, drop that from the bottom. And now the whole thing comes out. And then to remove the cluster from here, side of it. Pull these. And then there is one tab here. Oh. Now these 
the little metal things. Clips. I'll go flying if you don't want to. <laughs> so, have no. so you got one clip on the bottom. This is just going to pull off the face. And then there's a clip up here in the top that's hidden. Kind of impossible to get to. Did you already know this before today? Or did you have to? Yeah, I've done this before. <laughs> but I've never pulled, I've always, I've pulled this off because I put in like different colored gauges for someone. Uh, but I've never um, pulled, to pull this from the back plastic piece, which is what broken was broken the on nerves. There's, there's only two screws you can get to, one there uh -huh. and one there. The other screws, you have to take this whole thing apart. And it's not, the e and then it's clipped in the back too, so it's not the easiest, easiest thing to do. I just wanted to look at. I mean, I didn't touch any of the ribbons because mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that's what drives all the electronics. And I didn't remove that that um, unit. look at all these pins yeah it just seemed like that was a loose connection or something yeah this is this is all one piece mm -hmm. but you have to like pry it to get it out um, let's see. Yeah, it's a magnetic one. Yeah. This is the part that's the biggest pain. I'm not, and to be honest, I don't know what is causing that. <laughs> I don't want to do more damage by pulling it apart further. Right. The main thing I wanted to check were these these ribbons. Or anything like glaringly obvious. I think the ribbons are soldered on. Each one of these connectors has four little clips. <laughs> and they're a bear to get <laughs> to get off. Well, let's see. Let's put it back together, I don't know. If it if it keeps on acting up, just let me know and I'll try to find one that sure. I'm pretty sure I can reprogram the mileage with my PWIS. It's got to be some way to do that. Yeah.
one. Two. And drop it in. Drop it in. Actually, a popular thing to do is to put the, I think I showed you in my race car, the 996. Yeah, with the extra dials on the edge. Yeah, and that is uh, a nice upgrade. Uh -huh. You just have to buy the oil pressure switch from Porsche. I think it's like 60 or 80 bucks. Yeah. And then you just have to run a wire from the oil pressure switch to the uh, front. Doesn't sound too bad. It's not bad, but I'll show you in a second. You can you can buy a. Not many people will sell the complete unit with this. Mm -hmm. So since there's two extra gauges here. Oh, you gotta buy a new one of this. Uh, no, well, I cut it with a Dremel because I was too oh, cheap okay. to buy a new one. <laughs> <laughs> so. So it's oil pressure on one side. It's oil pressure here so and battery it. voltage here. Ah, uh, yeah. That's, that's really kind of nice. Yeah. So to put it all back together, <laughs> <laughs> you simply push this back in. This is the hazard light connection. That clicks. And then you push this in. I'll say it only goes in one way, so you start to have to work with it until it. And then you want to hook up the connections in the back, which is easier to do when you're looking okay, through the window. that white one extra hard. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know which one it is. <laughs> and then you hold it above because there's halves on the bottom here. Uh -huh. See the tabs here, here, and here. And then it clicks into Snap place. In. And you got these this is the fun part, this is what separates the men from the boys, is getting this screw. Without <laughs> driving it. Yeah, I think I had your blinker up. It's like operation. <laughs> Gently. Yeah, it's a, it's a pain. <laughs> uh, he's a man. There we go, we got it. <laughs> well, I magnetized this. Have you ever seen a screwdriver magnetizer? Mm -mm. I didn't either until that guy Kevin showed me. Oh, so they don't come magnetized? You magnetize no. these? Yeah, what? it's cool. I, it's probably something you can buy on Amazon, but um, I'll show it to you in a second. Yeah, I'll be good. gonna be ordering one of these soon. Yeah. And you can also demagnetize it. Huh. Like if you're working on a, an engine part or something that you don't want to be magnetized. Huh. And then this little cover goes on not in one direction that way and then is that a, an option that's not on this car or is that just a what's that decorative piece or, uh i don't know what just it decorative is. Piece, it's decorative piece to cover up the screw piece. hole <laughs> yeah melty works damn it oh <laughs> well, i don't know triple tap <laughs> yeah Maybe they'll stay working. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Just keep, keep <laughs> me updated on that. Cool.